What's a good place to stay? There should be a real nice photo spot somewhere nearby. Let's check it out. Yeah, let's go! I wonder, is she really gonna leave the... Gondola! Care for a ride? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. What would you like? You see this, Noct? What about it? Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Wanna check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting called off. Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. flock from far and wide to the walls of water. Oh, this is good. Take a look at this. What about it? So, what do you want to do? Care to take a cruise? Huh. Splendid. Where are we off to? Gentlemen. It has been a pleasure. Is it evening already? Time flies when you're having fun.
If we win at the arena, let's grab drinks to celebrate. Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. Welcome to Okoro, lads. Sid mentioned you'd be dropping in. Waskamarma, as you've gathered. My word, you've grown, little prince. So this is your maiden visit. Enjoying it so far? You doubtless have many questions, so ask away. This country is a part of the Empire, isn't it? Oh, you're wary. I understand. But there's no need to jump at every shadow. Just be aware that the terms of our independence grant the Empire free reign to come and go as they please. We'll bear that in mind. It's admittedly a one-sided arrangement. Most everything we do requires Niflheim's permission. And they wouldn't knowingly permit the Oracle to appear before the public. How our government spun that is quite a mystery. Has anything changed with Leviathan? For now, it's business as usual at port. But word is the government will soon open the altar of the Tide Mother. In preparation for the right. Ah, but on the other hand, they're scrambling to stockpile emergency provisions. This begs the question. If they're anticipating that the Hydrian will wreak havoc, why would they allow the right to proceed? You really think Luna will make an address? If every recent radio broadcast is to be trusted, absolutely. Where is Lady Luna Freya? In the city somewhere. But no one has caught so much as a glimpse of her. The media has been conspicuous in its silence on the matter, which speaks volumes of government intervention. That certainly explained the rumors of disgruntled Imperial officers leaving the city. So you see lots of nifs around here? We do, sometimes even at my place. Theirs is a familiar presence, and the citizens don't think much of it. Though the High Commander did cause a stir when he showed up the other day. Ravis. So soon after they felled the Archean and Lucis, his arrival fuels rumors that they will next come to Altisha. The Empire's not content ruling all the land. They want the heavens as well. Well, if you need anything else, you know where to find me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, my dear Camellia, it's been a while. I heard about your distinguished guests. Ah, you've an ear for gossip. Hey there. Have a good look. Lovely. Come back anytime. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> I could taste test for you. Shop till you drop. Take a shot from here. Oh, this lighting's no good. Maybe next time. <laughs> Let's take a look inside. I think I'll get something to drink. Any ideas for accommodation? Take a shot from here. Oh, this lighting's no good. Maybe next time. What do you feel like? Let's grab a bite. Where do you want to do? Where do you want to do? 
you want to go? She doesn't rub shoulders with the Empire by choice. Everybody knows she wants independence. Maybe she can ally herself with the Prince now that he's... ...come back to life. Wait, is that why she went to Mako? Oh my gosh, that Wescom guy's from Insomnia too. Welcome. You won't find fresher fish anywhere else. Come again. Welcome back. See you later. <laughs> so someone caught the secretary at Mago again. She and the barkeep sure are friendly. There's got to be. Shop till you drop. Gentlemen, I won't waste your time. My name is Camellia Clostra. First Secretary of the Accordo Protectorate. You should know, we have Lady Luna Freya in our care. And the Empire demands we surrender her. What? Yet I am loath to acquiesce unless we stand to profit. Hence I've come to discuss terms with the King of Lucis. If you've a mind to talk, Come to my estate. She can be oblique at the best of times, but I assure you, her heart is in the right place. Oh, okay. At any rate, you must be weary from your journey. Might I suggest you seek your beds for now and ponder matters anew in the morning? Yeah, I think we'll do just that. Sure. Take a shot from here. Oh, this lighting's no good. Maybe next time. What should I buy? So, care to take a cruise? Hey there. Have a good look. See you later. Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure.
Tiana. Ahead lies a future uncertain, yet sure is the astral memory, wherein the king may walk. Come on, let's go see the dress. Oh, let me look up the nearest stop. It's not far. We can walk it. Sounds like we're close. Greetings. Very well. Well, guess we need to go talk to Camellia. Yeah, like we have any other option. There's no telling how events will unfold. Let us prepare before making our way. Yeah, she can sit tight a while. This way to the dress? Yep, same street as the estate. Seems we're on the right track. I'm starved. Bet the view's even better from a gondola. The war is won, yet they continue harvesting for soldiers. Now that you mention it, that does seem like overkill.
Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Westcombe didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Those circumstances have changed. Both the king and the oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the king concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk, one we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She just wants to talk with Leviathan. She would wake a slumbering goddess just to have a chat? Somehow I doubt the Tide Mother will take kindly to being roused on a mortal whim. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with the Archean. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. Not much you can do when it comes to gods. You'd suggest I accept my city's destruction? Um... Nothing of worth to contribute? Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more, but as I'm sure you are aware, Few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning, though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle.
All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I have confidence you will do well by us, and you can expect the same in return. <laughs> I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten-odd years. During the right, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you.
Knocked. You in position? Yep. Don't forget the plan. You guys too? Of course. <sighs> Talk about a crowd. Like the whole city's come to watch. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror hatred and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace twisted into a nightmare.